This is the season I've been looking forward to talking about ever since I started this review series. So let's go ahead and do it. Dexter Season 4 is the pinnacle of TV in my opinion. Uh, once again starring Michael C. Hall, Jennifer Carpenter, a whole lot of other people. And like I said, let's just go ahead and jump into it with the good. And there is a lot to love in this season. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go through the motions of the ones that are always in this list. Michael C. Hall is Dexter. Absolutely terrific. Um, really, really good performance. His second best performance of the series, in my opinion. My favorite performance is coming up, but just stay tuned for that. I really loved how he grows even more as a character. He's now married. He lives in suburbia. He's got children. He's got a wife. And he has to find a way to balance that double life between being a husband and a father and also being a serial killer and also with his job. Uh, just watching him try to balance all that is really well done in my opinion. Rita Morgan, and now Dexter's wife in this season, absolutely terrific. I really love the chemistry between her and Dexter. They just work off of each other very well. Jennifer Carpenter as Deborah, obviously great in this season. Really great chemistry between her and Dexter. David Zayas as Angel Batista, once again, great in this season. Everyone else, all the other recurring characters are all still really good. But the best performance in this entire season and in the entire show is the main villain. You have John Lithgow as the Trinity Killer, Arthur Mitchell. Holy crap. This villain is absolutely amazing. I remember when I first heard that John Lithgow was a main villain in this season. I immediately thought, really? The guy from Third Rock from the Sun and the guy who voiced Lord Farquaad? was a main villain and people are saying he's the best and I watched it and holy crap they weren't joking this is easily the best villain in the entire series and probably in TV history he's unsettling as hell because he's got this facade about him he's a family man he's a deacon at his church he works for charity but deep down, he's this very violent, evil person. And in the canon of this show, the most prolific serial killer in American history, judging by how the fact that he's been able to kill all these people over a course of 30 plus years and not get caught. It's absolutely haunting his performance and Dexter's whole... I want to find out more about him. Uh, he's got all these chances to kill him. He knows he's a serial killer. And he catches him alone multiple times. He can knock him out. He can end his reign of terror right there. But since he is trying to juggle being a serial killer and a family man himself, he lets him go. Every time he has the chance. And it leads up to this whole pinnacle, this whole meltdown, this falling out between the two characters that by the end of the season, yes, Dexter does kill him. But the thing that makes the Trinity Killer such a great villain and the best villain in the series for me is that even though Dexter kills him, the Trinity Killer wins. Yes, Dexter kills him. But after he kills him, he comes home and he finds out the Trinity Killer killed Rita. He kills Rita before he flees town, before Dexter catches him. Dexter was too late to defend his family. He was too late to protect the one person he loved more than anyone. And that is why the Trinity Killer is such an amazing, terrific villain. Not just because of John Lithgow's absolutely haunting, stunning performance, but because of the fact that he wins in the end. He dies, but he wins. And it's such a gut punch ending because you think you're going to get a happy ending for Dexter and Rita. They're going off on their honeymoon. They're taking their son with them. And their other kids are off with their grandparents. No. <laughs> it doesn't get a happy ending. 
I don't know why I was expecting a happy ending in a show like Dexter, but it's not a happy ending. And I, I feel like I've gushed on about the Trinity Killer for long enough. Uh, let's just go ahead and get to some other good stuff. Um, first of all, Harrison Morgan, Dexter's baby. Absolutely adorable. I loved this little baby, uh, mainly because I am a father as well. And raising my child, I, I just love it when a baby is a main character. I just... I love babies. They're adorable. None are as adorable as mine, though. Other than the characters, I really love the story. I've already gushed on about the whole plot with the Trinity Killer enough, but I just really love the story. The whole cat and mouse between Dexter and the Trinity Killer is absolutely amazing. It's really fun to watch unfold on screen. The chemistry between everyone, top-notch. Everything in this season is absolutely top-notch. They bring back Frank Lundy. Uh, and then there's a very short-lived rekindling of his romance with Deb. Still weird. I'm I'm, I'm still not into it. Uh, but he, he does get killed off before the halfway point of the season, which sucks because I like Frank Lundy, but it doesn't suck because I didn't want to see a whole other season of him and Deb. Either way, uh, the way that that weighs on Deb, uh, her trying to find the killer... It's really good. The small little arc that she has within this season because of that, it's really good. And uh, the kills, obviously, from both the Trinity Killer and from Dexter, both terrific kills um, throughout the entire season. The way Dexter disposes of the Trinity Killer uh, at the end of the season, really, really good stuff. Uh, really, probably the best kill scene in the entire series when Dexter kills Arthur Mitchell. And moving on from that, move on to the bad. And this is the only season where I don't even have a tiny nitpick. <laughs> this is just a perfect season of not just Dexter, but of TV in general. I absolutely love this season. Uh, moving on to my final thoughts. What else can I say? Dexter season four is an absolute masterpiece of a season. Uh, easily my favorite season of this show and of television in general i love this season to death and dexter season four very easily uh, and without a doubt gets a 10 out of 10. so that was my thoughts on dexter season four have you seen this season yet uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it if you have if you haven't what are you doing watch dexter it's a great show either way don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video and i will see you all next time